Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video. We are going to be reviewing and looking at the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker Palette. Now I know this palette released back in June so I'm a little late to the game but I've been wanting it for a while and I finally was like I'm going to pay the money and I'm just going to get it. So here's what it looks like here. I'm very excited. This is the outer packaging. So you open it up here and it is beautiful and pink and very Jeffree Star. This palette does retail for $58. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, but all of its products are made in the U US. So that kind of racks them up a little bit. Before we start with the tutorial and review, I just want to give my little spiel. I love Jeffree Star. He is by far my favorite YouTuber and definitely my favorite in the beauty community. I just absolutely adore him. I love the Shane Dawson series that they've done in the past and the ones that they're working on right now. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this Shane Dawson palette. So I am such a huge fan of him and this is such an exciting moment. I don't think you guys are ready for this. She is stunning. Comes with a mirror, which I know a lot of people like. But look at how beautiful that is. I mean, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to do an eye look today, and we're probably going to get a little crazy with it, let's be real. Before we do that, though, I want to just go through and swatch all of the colors for you guys. So I'm going to insert a clip right here. Guys, these shades are absolutely beautiful. Oh my god, do you see these sh two shimmer colors here? Like, this is insane. And all of these, these four colors right here are very unique and are, are calling my name. The only colors that aren't showing up super well are the first two in the, the shade. I think they're this one's called Virgin. This is Good Morning. I am pretty fair and they're pretty close to my skin color. They aren't showing up quite as well as the other ones but I am so excited. All right, everybody, these are the bottom two rows here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> absolutely insane. These, all the shimmers or metallic shades are so pigmented and just glide on like butter. They are absolutely beautiful. The only thing I will say is some of the mattes, they aren't quite as pigmented like the, these two right here, the green and the blue and even the navy blue over here. But sometimes that's not a bad thing when you're trying to blend things on the eye. So I'll have to try them out and, and see what I think about those. But I am so excited. This is one of the most beautiful palettes that I have ever seen. I am, I am in awe. The only thing I'm really sad about is everything's messy now after swatching everything. It was so beautiful. So some of the shade names on here are pretty funny too, like this one right here is named, the shade name is literally Buck. Um, then we have Q and what? Suck. We have Suck and we have Fuck. So these are just very, very Jeffrey names and I... I'm living for it. <laughs> There's so many eye looks that you could possibly do with this palette. It's almost overwhelming looking at this. Right now I feel pretty overwhelmed. This is my first time using it and I'm kind of unsure of which route to go. This is just not going well. It's just very patchy. Like, do you guys see that? It's 
So I wanted to do the, some like crazy look using all the colors, but this isn't even the first time. Like I've done, a, a, tried multiple times doing uh, different looks and it's just like not working for me. So it's kind of frustrating because I was really excited to get this palette, but it's just not doing what I thought it was going to be doing. I'm like at the point where I don't even want to try to do it again, but I want to at least get a finished look. Just very frustrating. And I've seen a lot of videos of people like creating these beautiful looks with it, so I don't know if it's just me that is struggling with it. I'm gonna go in the shade Fuck here. And that's like all I want to do with the mattes, to be honest. Um, so I think I'm just going to do shimmers the rest. I'm going to go with Lemon Drop here. Now I'm going to grab orange juice and put that more in the middle. And then I'm going to go and add what? And I'm literally just going to put that in the outer. And then I'm going to go in with um, Fuck again and just go out in the outer edge here. So I'm going to go in with a, a wet brush here and to end what and I'm just going to try to pack that on more out here because I can't get the right angle of it with my finger. And I'm going to do the same thing with orange juice. And finally, I'm going to go back with Lemon Drop. So this is what we have so far. And I feel like I need like a darker shade in the crease and like right wrapping around the corner. And I really trying to tell myself not to do it because every time I've tried to do this, it's when it gets messed up. With some of these darker you know matte colors so I'm not too excited about it but I we're gonna try it I'm gonna go into raspberry I'm gonna try to dab that in the corner And right in the crease. I'm going to go in with Lemon Drop again. Just pat that up a little more. All right, finally, this isn't looking too bad. I do kind of want to go in with fuck one more time. And lemon drop again. We're just, just trying to get last little touches.
Okay, so I think I finally was able to salvage something and I am going to call this good enough <laughs> for the top light for the top lid. So I just went off camera and did the other eye and then I just went ahead and did my foundation and base coat on it also. Um, I did use a new foundation that I got and I've been really liking. It is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I am the shade NW15, um, but this is a, a powder foundation. It's very buildable um, and it's really easy so you don't have to use, you know, liquid foundation which can sometimes take a while to build up and a lot of times going to work and things this is a, just a lot easier for me to use just swipe it on it's one quick easy step and I'm ready to go um you can put foundation or you sometimes I'll put concealer underneath of it under like my eyes and if there's any acne spots or anything and then put this on top but I like to go in with kind of a a denser brush and just put it on with the brush and then if there are any areas that I want more before coverage I'll use the little sponge that came in and kind of pat it in with that but mostly I like to just kind of dip in and and just kind of brush it out but I've been really enjoying this um, I still do like you know just kind of a, a standard foundation but this is just really nice for me when I'm in a hurry in the morning so if you don't like to wake up early and you'd rather sleep than do your makeup, then this is something good for you. Um, but while we're back here, I'm going to go ahead and we'll do some eyeshadow on the bottom lash line here. So I want to get just kind of a, a denser brush and go in with raspberry, what we use kind of in the outer corner. I'm going to put lemon drop just in the inner part of the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with orange juice and put that in the middle. And lastly, we will take and what and put that on the outer part. For the very inner corner, I'm going to use jaw, the shade Jawbreaker. Beautiful white shimmery color. And that is the completed eyeshadow look on one eye. I'm going to go off camera again and do that on the other eye. All right, everybody, I'm back here to give my final thoughts. I just went ahead and went full glam, did a full face, contour, brows, lashes, the whole shebang. Um, and I'm here to kind of talk about my final overview thoughts and everything. Before we talk about the palette, one thing I did just want to mention is I'm not very good with fake lashes. So I was at Ulta today and I saw these magnetic lashes by Kiss. So I was like, oh, I'll try them out. These were like $14, biggest waste of money ever. I, it comes with this little handle thing. It's really like stupid and hard to use. And then essentially how magnetic lashes work is you put one underneath and one on top and they have these little magnets that connect together. So it sounds like a good idea, but I tried them on and it was all wonky. So I took them off. They say just pull them out and like, this one still has the magnets, but um, on the other ones, the magnets just came off and then they just served absolutely no purpose because you couldn't connect them together. So I ended up just using, ended up just using lash glue anyway. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at magnetic lashes and think it might be something that you might want to try because lash glue is hard, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. I know lash glue sucks, but that was like the biggest waste of money ever. So don't go that way. <laughs> um, but I managed to somewhat put on the fake, these are just the magnetic lashes, but just with lash glue. So I don't know, we're just gonna 
I'm like so like in such a mood right now that we're just gonna finish up this video today. I am liking how this look ended up so that there's that. I did struggle a lot earlier on um, but I'm gonna keep digging into it and try it and see how it works for me and hopefully I can get some more colorful looks with some of these other matte shades but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I like how this ended up looking but I got very frustrated in the process trying to get here so I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this to you but I'm also not the most experienced with eyeshadow either so I don't know if it's more user error or just using cheap brushes so I don't know I would I wouldn't tell you to run out and grab this and try this especially if you're not super experienced makeup the formula is just very hard to blend and work with at least the matte shades but I do like the look of it I do like the colors I really want to be able to use it more so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep giving it a, a chance and, and see how it works for me so there's that I don't this video is just like, I apologize. I was just very, getting very frustrated doing this video. It took me a lot longer to record than I thought because I kept having to retry things and take things off and the stupid magnetic lashes. I'm just like, not, I'm just very frustrated right now. So we're just gonna end it on that. Hopefully next time around, will be a little bit more cheery and liking the products and things working really well. But today, this one, I'm kind of eh. I want to love her. I want to, but I'm a little frustrated with her right now, but we're going to we're going to keep trying. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. No, it's like not like super cheery and peppy like some of my other videos, but like I said, we're going to be honest on here, and I am honestly just frustrated. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>